What's going on everybody, it's Josh. If you are new here and this is your first time ever watching one of my videos, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and get ready for this because I'm very excited. This is my Star Wars three and three quarter collection video. Um, I've teased a little bit and I've talked about my Clone Wars uh, carded collection, which is all down here. Um, uh, today, which is Sunday, I don't know when this video is going live, um, but I decided to get all my Clone Wars stuff out. Well, I decided that's not enough for a video. So I decided to get all my three and three quarter carded collection out, um, and then I'll kind of give you guys an overview of what I have loose. Um, but just to give you a quick overview, I started laying out all my vintage collection stuff and all my ships, and I am not going to have room to walk around, so I'm going to show you guys my Clone Wars stuff first, and then I'll show you what is here, and then I will lay the rest out, and then um, we'll get going. So this, uh, I don't know if it's going to be a very long video, um, but sit back, relax, and enjoy. Um, if you're a Star Wars fan, hopefully you appreciate this. Unfortunately, yes, it's all modern, so all you vintage people, sorry. Um, and this is Vintage Collection. I did a Star Wars video, Star Wars Collection video two years ago, right when I had my channel uh, started. And there were tons of comments saying that this is not vintage. I am saying this is not vintage. It is vintage collection. So please no comments about how much I called this vintage when it's not. So anyways, let's get into the good stuff. Clone Wars, by far one of my favorite series um, that Hasbro has done. I hope with the return of Clone Wars, um, we get this style of a figure, three and three quarter super articulated figure. Um, super articulated means they just have elbow knee, ankle, wrist, all sorts of articulation in those joint areas. These uh, ships would also be cool if we could start getting these again, um, but I highly doubt it. Um, I don't know what the retail price of these were because I did not collect these when they were in stores. Unfortunately, I have bought these all uh, secondhand, third party, aftermarket, whatever you want to call it. Um, but we have the Bark Speeder Bike with Clone Trooper Jesse. Um, He's a pretty hard figure to find. Uh, the Mandalorian Speeder, that's a that's a tough one to find. Uh, AV7 Mobile Cannon, Kit Fisto Jedi Starfighter, I believe that's what Cincy gave me for my birthday last year, so thank you again to him. This Toys R Us exclusive Boba Fett uh, Slave One, or the Rise of Boba Fett, but it's his Slave One. And it also has Mace Windu's uh, Starfighter. And there are the figures that come with it. I had that boss game, Boba Fett Loose. I will show you guys here soon. We have a Swamp Speeder. The uh, Republic fighter tank. Then we have the Y Wing Scout Bomber. I think that's Warthog. Um, I believe it is, but it just calls him Clone Trooper Pilot. We have some battle packs. That droid attack on Cornet. Um, that uh, set has gone up. I think it's Red Eye and Mixer in those two, those two clones. Um, the ambush on Vulture's Claw, that is a pretty tough pack to get sealed. Yoda and Coruscant. The Mandalorian pack back here. Big shout out to my buddy Austin Collins for that. He found it underneath a shelf of some store. And then we have the Arc Trooper pack, the four pack. That is uh, super expensive and super hard to find. Sealed. Um, and honestly, all four of the, the, the figures loose are hard to find as well. And then we have a couple of vintage collection packs, but then the Clone Wars uh, figure three pack right there. Now getting into the loose or not the loose, I'm sorry, the carded stuff. Um, this Ahsoka, I don't, it's not in a protector for any special reason, um, other than that a, someone actually hooked me up with this a long time ago, like three or four years ago, um, hooked me up with this Ahsoka, and then that ambush on Vulture's Claw, and then a few uh, vintage collection things over there, um, because I helped him get a kind of rare figure that you could only get um, overseas. And he sent that as a thank you. So that's the only reason why that's in a protector. I didn't want... I'll try to point out like the rare stuff in case you guys aren't familiar with anything. Um, this is CW44 Ahsoka. One of the harder to find um, sought after Ahsoka figures. I have this on card and loose. Then I will try to get you guys just an overview of this. I'll try to point out some cool things. Um, Commander Colt. That is actually on like a French card back. I got that from someone in Canada. Stealth Clone Trooper, Toys R Us exclusive. They have Mace Windu. Pre Vizsla, that's a cool 
figure plus that Mandalorian warrior is also good as well um let's see oh yeah clone commander wolf that's hard to find on card we got ahsoka's droid r7 a7 uh hondo onaka arf trooper captain lock he's cool i like him some of these target two packs which i enjoy and then this one the senate commando and the captain that commander Gree, rex arf trooper berries of ofi we have a mail away Nadar Veb. We have Savage Opress. I have him loose, so I'll get you guys a better look at that as well. Um, he's just awesome. I love that it comes with his saber. And then we're there. We have Matchstick. Um, the white boxes, in case anybody's curious, that came out. Um, that was like the first or second run of Clone Wars. I, bl I believe the year is like 2009, and then 2010 on the blue pack. Um, I personally like the blue. Um, cause it comes with like that galactic battle game. I like those cards on display. They look nice with the packaging. Um, but they are expensive. Um, typically most of the white boxes are sought after just because they were like the first series. Well, let's just look real quick. Uh, yeah, this is 2010 and this is 2009. So technically the white, uh, boxes are older and the loose stuff. Um, I'll try to get you guys. I took this shelf down. I need to really rearrange and dust everything, so I apologize. This is one of my newest acquisitions. Uh, we got Clone Wars Sidious. Um, there's the Savage with uh, the armor and the lightsaber. We have Serpius. I don't have him carded. I thought I had the three pack with Maul and the Night Sister in box, but I guess I don't, so I need to get that. We have Mace, we have a Magna Guard, we have uh, one of the Wolf Pack Troopers. Right here, he came in a, a pack, battle pack, I believe. We have a Hondo right there. And then there's my Ahsoka's. I have a underwater Ahsoka, but I have no idea where she went. It was a uh, Scuba Ahsoka. I'll try to find her, but. Here's just a good little overlook. So over here is my second and third shelf displayed. Once again, I apologize, any dust that you guys may see, I need to really rearrange this. But up front you can see the four ARC Troopers. We got Colt, Blitz, um, not really sure who the Silver Boot Colt is. Um, and then we have uh, Havoc. Those four Troopers, the green, yellow, red, and orange, those are not Clone Wars uh, figures. They, I just thought the Republic Troopers just looked good there. I have two of the Riot Storm, or Riot Clone Troopers. We have quite a few Mandos back there. Yeah. Hopefully you guys are able to see and point out. Um, there's Cad Bane in disguise right behind uh, Colton Blitz. Now this shelf, unfortunately, is a little tough to get to because it's the, it's the stationary shelf. You guys can see there's some pretty good uh, comic packs, black series, got some vintage collection, got some legacy collection figures. That Obi-Wan right there is from the vintage collection. So overall really good. I just try to keep the this the bad guys, the Sith, um, some bounty hunters on this shelf. And then I try to keep this shelf all animated Clone Wars and then the, the, the first shelf I just showed you as the Jedi and Sith for the uh, Clone Wars series. And before I get started on laying the rest of this stuff out, um, I will go through some of these vintage collection figures. So up top, the ATAP, and then we have the vintage collection, I believe that was a Kmart or Toys R, Toys R Us exclusive uh, X-Wing. Then we have the Amazon exclusive Slave One. Um, these uh, card backs right here, from what I've been told, and what I understand, they are proof cards that were sold or given out at some sort of San Diego Comic Con, maybe? Uh, one of the conventions. Um, then we have Jar Jar and Carbonite. Let me scoot this stuff over so I can hopefully get you guys a better grasp of this. I almost took this to Celebration to have him sign it, but I didn't really want to carry this. This, um, that figure comes out of this. You pull that out. 
Um, and then he actually goes in, this is a carbonite chamber. This is a 2012 San Diego Comic Con exclusive. Um, it just has a character and a figure from each film. This is the first six films um, on here. Here you can see like Emperor's Wrath, Vader, and obviously we have Jar Jar, and we have a clone trooper, and then a couple other figures. Um, it's one of my favorite pieces. I got this before I started YouTube. I think I got this for maybe 150, 180, and I think Jar Jar alone goes for like 150. But it's a pretty cool piece to have. Then we have a Jocasta New. I believe that was like a Brian's Toys exclusive. I forget. Um, yeah, Brian's Toys. Here we have some uh, sets. Kmart exclusive. Kmart was really good with uh, vintage collection exclusives. I kind of wish they never went out of business. V19. That was a Celebration exclusive. Uh, I think Celebration 4. It's a uh, Forlom and Zuckus. Because I think back in the back in the day, when they first came out, some something got messed up where they called each other the wrong thing. So it was kind of an homage to that. Now, vintage collection-wise, um, on card, I have probably quite a few doubles. I tried to do um, variants, card back variants, uh, packaging variants for as many of these as I could uh, could acquire. Um, I still don't have a lot of them but I'm pretty close to completing the whole set um, there is new vintage collection which is the current year like 2018 2019 mixed in um, with the older sets so if you see any doubles um, there's probably a reason for it or I just accidentally bought two I have no idea um, R5D4 I have two of the Zam Wessels um, obviously the newer movie stuff is newer than the older style vintage collection um, there were some foil variants of a lot of these. Um, this Gamorrean Guard, this is a French card back. Just kind of like Commander Cole, I got this uh, from a guy up in Canada. Got the Dagobah Luke, that's a pretty good one to find. Um, let's see, what else do we have? R2-D2. And let me scooch these back over. Now that I'm done. And these cases, if anybody's wondering, um, they're kind of soft plastic. They are from RetroProtection.com. So go and order them. Help them out. It's a small business owner on that. But I've been supporting them for years. I genuinely want to get all my vintage collection into these. Because um, it's much easier to store. Uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Clone Wars version. It's a pricey figure all of a sudden. Republic Trooper. Um, here's a good example of the variants. This is Luke Skywalker, uh, the indoor capture, and then this is Luke Skywalker, the Jedi Knight. Um, I think I have like four of these. They're all different variants. Once I come across them, I will show you guys. Here, once again, this is a foil. I don't know if you can tell how shiny that is, and that's a regular. And we have Grand Moff Tarkin, another hard one that's getting up there in price. Um, let's see. We have Star Killer from the Expanded Universe, Clone Wars Anakin. Revenge of the Sith Cody, I believe that, yeah, that's the foil variant. That Ahsoka, very hard one to find. It, uh, it was one of the last waves, and I don't think they got distributed um, enough. They're only online, I believe, from what I've heard, at least. Weequay, now that the bar just come out, that's been an expensive figure. Rebel Base, foil Anakin, the Adat Commander Leia, best man outfit, Fisto, Ayla, Sakura. And then Neum Nub. So I am going to get the rest of this stuff sorted out for you guys. I'll be right back. Okay, so everything is laid out. Oh, let me just get you guys an overview. So, not gonna lie, this was kind of a lot of work because everything is in totes, unfortunately. And also, before I get all those comments of what's the point of keeping everything in the box, well, I have purchased for my future. Um, and pretty much what I mean by that is I've bought all of these at a great price um, at one point or another. So when I get a new house, when I get a basement, when I get a whole entire room that I can display my stuff, um, that is when I will display everything. Because this is my toy room, whatever. So here's this side. So that one wall is the only full wall that I have. Right here I have a huge bay window. So can't put anything right here. In that corner, I have my light. 
and all my other random stuff. There's where I play Fortnite. Here is this. Here's this wall. So see, there is really no room for me to put any shelves besides right here. So I decided to keep all that stuff. So anyways, let's just get back into this. Uh, black series. These are my only three and three quarter black series that I'll be showing you just because of kind of how rare they are. Um, this was supposed to be produced before um, Disney bought Star Wars. And since this is from the EU, it was not canon. Um, I believe they canceled it, but they already had these produced. Um, so I believe somewhere in France, somewhere over there, Italy, maybe. I think it was Italy. Yeah, Italy. Um, There's a warehouse full of these, and people sold them to the U.S. Um, so, I, and I had at one point like 12 or 15 of them, but I sold and traded some off. Um, here's some of the 30th anniversary stuff that I have. These evolution packs. I think these are amazing. Um, we have Darth Nihilus, Darth Bane, and a Darth Maul. Then we have the uh, Star Killer the, from the the video game, the Force Unleashed three pack, and then we have the Fett Legacy right here. This is a comic pack. With a pretty cool Darth Maul and Owen Lars. Let's see if this will give you a better. There we go. Very cool as well. That Maul is awesome, by the way. Um, this is a Proto Fett or a rocket firing Boba Fett. Sorry, this is not the real one. So everybody can see I'm not trying to pass it off as real. Um, I think this was a mail away exclusive as well. Um, let's see, what up here did I not show you guys? So there we have a Darth Vader um, vintage collection. That's another variant. Um, it's when Anakin Skywalker obviously turns into Darth Vader at the end of Reven or yeah, Revenge of the Sith. Yeah, that one. And then, and then there's the Anakin one. There's the Sidious foil version and normal variant. Um, here is another uh, variant Luke Skywalker. If you can see, uh, the handcuffs are placed lower on the bubble. And then over here, they're placed higher. So, I just don't know if that was cool. Plus, this is the French card back. If you can tell, they're, it's written in French right there as well. We have a Grievous up there, a Han Solo, and Bespin. We have the EU, the ARC Trooper, ARC Trooper Commando. Commander, sorry. Uh, another rocket firing Boba Fett, Hoth Leia, Death Star, Luke. Uh, that's a normal Cody. There is a foil variant of that and a foil variant of Obi Wan. Got an unpunched Shea Vizsla. Quick fun story at Columbus Toy Show. I got this for twenty dollars, um, and it's about a hundred and fifty dollar figure. There's the Proto Fett. That was a mail away exclusive as well. We have Stormtrooper on the Empire card back. We have Woof, Dengar, looks like we have Darth Maul, another Clone Wars Anakin. We have Revenge of the Jedi. That was a different uh, exclusive card back. Also came in the uh, Death Star set, the San Diego Comic Con exclusive Death Star set, which I wish I had. We have Jango Fett, we have Breeze Offee, uh, Return of the Jedi TIE Fighter Pilot. Phantom Menace Darth Sidious and that is different because that was Revenge of the Sith. We have Prune Face right here, uh, Mace Windu, Slave Leia, we have the Foil General Grievous, we have Obi-Wan Kenobi, another Magna Guard. I think this one came from uh, my boy Aaron uh, for my birthday. I believe that was one C-3PO, Foil, Sand Trooper, we have another Clone Wars Obi-Wan. Yeah, so I have two of those. Uh, foil, Boba Fett. And let's see what up. Uh, I guess I have another Bear Selfie. See, this is good for me because I don't even know what I have. That's the bad part. Um, Nam Anar, uh, Rebel Fleet Trooper, 501st. And did I show you guys the foil Obi-Wan? Uh, I don't know if I did, but there we go. So this is. Pretty much all of my vintage collection in three and three quarter collection. Wow. So what I want you guys to do, if you would, comment down below what is your favorite figure of mine. If for some reason there's nothing in here that you like, let me know your favorite figure down in the comments below. Whew, this was a uh, 
this was a tough one to make so hopefully you guys enjoyed this so like i said guys that is going to do it for this video if you did enjoy this please leave a like please share this video with everybody that you know that would appreciate this that collects star wars or new collectors and you want to show them kind of the cool stuff that's out there because to me modern wise this is my favorite stuff vintage collection clone wars stuff i love it a lot so now i get to spend the rest of my day putting these all back in totes so i hope you guys did enjoy the video leave a like if you did subscribe if you are new i will see you sometime maybe even another updated here down the road but yeah i love you guys thank you so much for the support i will see you in the next video and as always may the fix be with you <laughs>